Fun to see him uh, Have to burn with that in action again. All right, what's Army going to play? A new hero again? One of the previous 10. <laughs> previous? Man, that's actually crazy this playing 10. Right? 10 different heroes like, in 11 the, games? The position one pool is just ridiculously low right now. It's so yeah. shallow. I, I guess, has he played his TB already? I think he has, right? No, he's not. Oh, really? What, what are his heroes, Shiva? Right. List them off. PA, Lone Druid, Weaver, Sven, Naga, Slark, Lesh, Void, Bristle, and then previous game, of course, the Juggernaut. Void ET is always fun, but I think Void's a little bit of a dead hero. I know they, they whipped it out. They don't have but... damage in the, in the Chrono. Yeah, it's not quite good enough here. That's the problem. I, like, I think this is a really good last pick for forward, actually, because um, it's, it most likely will force that Rubik to start with the, on the safe lane and not the Elder Titan. Elder yeah, Titan true. plus one core versus the Sand King, that could be horrible. Whoever is helping Sand King, Tusk or the Grimstroke, that's a really decent lane. I, I'm Slark, all right. Slark. I like this. Like, you can jump out of the Shards at least. At the same time, you have the Ember, you have the Sand King, Nikes with the Radiance later on is going to be very problematic for both the Slark and hmm. the TA. There's no, like, classic meatbag hero, you know, mm -hmm. that we see these Slark lineups go into. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, I guess there's some stuns that are easier to dodge. Again, it's like kind of like the ink swell situation, the snowball, for example. Very easy to get off the dark pack, though. Uh, so a lot of pressure on the Sand King to be setting up these kills onto Ame here. Ooh. Better this time around, would you Ooh. say? Are they, are they setting up for the thing? I was talking about this last night. You set up to try to kill the Centaurs when they go for the Retaliate build-up, but he actually went top to get the Retaliate stacks built up. So they did try to set up for the gank in the I mid lane. They're tr people are trying to punish this, but... They weren't able to this time. So let's see. Uh, let's have a look. So for forwards, um, I think the Sand King does give them together what they were lacking a little bit is team fight. I think they really were suffering on that aspect yeah. on forward before that. Um, he should be able to, yeah, he should be able to put a, bit of, a good amount of pressure onto bottom. But I think Slark also, I know how they were saying that there's not that beefcake for Slark to build up the stacks up. I think Sand King can kind of become that beefcake in some situations. He, can, he might he can be get very tanky. Yeah. yeah, it might be one of those games that he might do that. It could hurt them. I think that's where the Slark come, can uh, come into play. But of course, as uh, you were saying to me during the draft, this is a Sand King that you're picking into an FY Rubik. Yes, they give FY probably the, one of the best spells in the game that you can possibly steal. You just, you just always go for that, that stun from that Sand King. Sand King is saying, Snake's nice. forced to get the stun. Get himself out of there. But yeah, you're going to be probably giving up the... I mean, there's a lot of good spells to steal in this one too. I mean, and a lot of the... Most of the Grimstroke spells are amazing because they just get buffed up. That Inkswell... If you steal that as a Rubik, it becomes oh, like a, a yeah. six second AoE stun. It's insane if he's actually able to. Six second AoE stun, six, like 550, 600 plus damage. It's, it's, it's really insane it's if he does get it. It's a good Rubik game. Yeah. So same thing, yeah. He can get those uh, the stun from the Sand King too, as we see. Next Nova but has some damage and armor built up from that. So he has the plus five armor from his spirit as well. So he plays a little bit of aggressive there. And these double melees, it's a double melee versus double melee here. Yeah, Ames are going to be happy trading each and every time. I mean, even ET is too. Like, he can he can go for these trades because he's always going to have that little bit of bonus armor versus them too. Once the levels start building up, it come, becomes scarier because they have tag team plus they have um, a sandstorm, which is an annoying, very annoying spell. Yeah, and in the mid lane, of course, last game we saw CCNC's TA. This time around, we'll get to enjoy the, the treat of maybes. Yeah. So uh, we'll see maybe try and give CCNC a bit of a lesson in how it's played. Yeah, I like seeing like we get to see so many different TA versus Ember matchups because I mean, like we said, sometimes I see the Embers kill the TA, sometimes I see the TAs kill the Embers. It, it's really, really fun to see. And sometimes you see teams pick Ember into TA, and other teams pick TA into Ember. It's 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 great. It's it's such a fun uh, fun little matchup thing. It reminds me of when we used to have like the Queen of Pain versus Shadow Fiend, or like the TA versus Invoker back in the day all the time. As we do see bottom, yeah, Slark having a great time already versus those two strength heroes. I mean, and for forward as well, you know, she said that the bottom lane definitely something that's not going to look you know, too too hot for them. The top lane is is this sort of a, a lot better? I mean, I guess Yawa, he doesn't, he's not going to feel too threatened by these two heroes, right? Centaur, Rubik, it's, it's unlikely to catch him off guard. He's, he's going to hit creeps, right? Yeah, but I mean, Centaur is just... Such a monster of a hero. That's so the one thing. This, what denies you get, and yeah, you, you get the denies. You have okay. the better. You have the better animation, the better damage, and then you, you retaliate stacks. If you do get caught out, like the Grimstro can can die for sure. If they do keep the both heroes up there, so I'm, I mean, I'm really liking the way LGD does have their lane set up right now. I was hoping it would be like a four position Elder Titan, just because I want to see a four position Elder Titan for fun. But it's much better to have FY playing that Rubik in this one. Sentries down. Got a lot of sentries. Snaking will be able to burrow strike away. 
Forame is fully able to get on top of him. Still. Giving him the beatdown. Continuing to give him the beatdown. And Haste wears off, though. Uh, massively struggling to put any sort of pressure onto Arme. He's getting full free farm. Has this like mid lane. Ooh, sideblade. Trying for it. for it. See, since he's got the salve out. CS continues to be very even. Top lane, FY. He's in. He finds Pilot Eye. Wow, he got him by himself, too. That was without even yeah, the Centaur. He, they must have sort of bowed between the two of them. He probably, I mean, with the boots, he's able to just keep chasing him down, giving them those extra right clicks. All three lanes looking, I mean, looking fantastic already for they how to do this. They really Lark are. Yeah. Full blown free farming. Life is struggling. I mean, yeah, yeah, you were right about this top lane. You are. Is, he is falling behind. Yeah. Chalice is getting so much out of this. and He doesn't even have a Qualling Blade. He has just a Chainmail. He's going to buy I mean, he's gonna buy Boots, actually, instead of going for it here. He's just having a great time getting all those last hits. I mean, and that's, you, yeah, they can go for kills on Pi even easier now. Yeah, and th that's what provides... When you get those early stacks of the Retaliate, when you oh, do that no, tower Pi. thing, it gives you a lot of extra denies. It's Pi. Uh-oh. He's... He's... Can he get out with an Ink Swell? One more right-click from Chalice would do it, but he won't quite be able to get it. FY, actually, he's... He could sort of go for this one. Has to be careful with the Stroke of Fate coming out. And Pi Miss will be able here. to get far enough away. To get a trade round. Chalice is able to get the Hoost on down, but the Rage is already out from Yawar. Tag team as well. Keeping themselves on top of the center. But with those boots, Chalice can still walk back to safety. Stroke of Fate will come out. That's Does involved. cancel the salve that Chalice popped. So they're definitely going to shut him down as he's now out of regen on the center. Man, this bottom lane's a disaster, though. Look how, I mean, Ame is just Come completely from the snaking's gonna be zoned out now. He has oh to go do boy. some manipulation of creep wave to try to get something down here now. That is extremely problematic, as now they're doing, they're having to run a full defensive tri lane to guarantee this lifestealer's farm. They would have to do something, though. Like, bottom just was such a mess. They, this is what they need to do to try to salvage it. But yeah, this is, yeah, this, I mean, more than just free farm slot, 27 and 14, Ame. He yeah. is gearing up to have a very strong slot game. Yeah, and we're seeing like the TA. The the one thing that does happen in this matchup is those those denies really do build up because just the fraction. You're not able to get those last hits as an ember, but it's not even just that in this one too. It's just straight up the last hits too. It's just all across the board LGD right now. But as we said, they did move a tri lane top, so they should, in theory, be able to guarantee themselves these two bounty runes and secure your wars farm quite a lot better here. Maybe get some kills out of it here, Chalice. We can use the hoof stomp. MSS gets on top of them with the snowball. Chalice will put the retaliate and start to punch back onto oh MSS. God. He might get him with another hit here into a double edge. MSS has the shrine. He's, He's got to keep running it. though. He's yeah. got CCNC there. Backup comes in. Chalice still doing a lot of damage back to the two of them, and they will finally get the kill upon him. They do have that shrine to get full use out of it between the three of them, but Chalice certainly, certainly making them uh, you know, draw, draw a lot of attention towards that. Yeah. Get him away from the mid lanes, giving more space to the TA. And this bottom lane, I mean, Free farm as, it's, it's as, you, as you say, they have had to sort of just leave it as it is, as there's not been anything that they can really do with the heroes. They have to slow Arme down, but it does mean that this Slark is going to be absolutely massive. Yeah. Mid lane. Why? Telekinesis is on CCNC. CCNC's got a lot of backup, but it doesn't seem to matter. Five. He's already dead. They'll get the first kill. They'll almost certainly have a good shot at getting Pi as well. The sleep comes out. He's got an ink swell, but he's going to die before it pops. Two kills in the mid lane for PSG LGD. A 2k lead six minutes in. This game two start looking a lot worse than the game one start was before. This one's going to be a lot tougher. Yeah, absolutely. This one's going to be much harder here. I mean, CCNC is just going to be really shut down, and him catching up in this game is going to be hard. They have heroes that are pretty decent versus Ember Spirit in this one. Especially if he's behind. As top, we do see the wraparound again. MSS trying to put pressure onto Chalice with this tri lane, and they should be able to get this one here. So they're starting to pick up some kills here when they move that tri lane toward top, which was like said, needed. Now they certainly have sort of focused down the call that's the, the easier of the targets. Bottom lane, snaking though. It's being hunted. Arme's in. He's getting no, no mercy for snaking. They're banning out his heroes in the first three, and they're just slaughtering him in the lane. Yeah, free farm for Arme. Two kills as well, picked up in the lane. That might have queued up. I mean, he he knows. Yep. I was wondering it's if he might go for... a beautiful game for him so far. He can get away with this. Yeah, I was wondering if maybe he goes for like that Top drum lane, though, Chalice. The feed train has begun. He's hit three times in a row upon on this top lane. The tri lane decision from forward. It's sort of a sacrifice. They're giving all that space down bottom, but they are definitely making the most of it up top. Killing the centaur over and over again. Oh, that's a that's a cool ops ward. That's gonna that's like very away from the natural uh, sentry wards that are gonna be able to counter the if there's a ward on top of the uh, ancient camp as well as the natural ward that you do usually place up on that high ground. That's a, that's a 
Nice work. Six and six. six. Can take it easy. Careful. Any all of his health there from the side blades. Nicely, he does have the remnant there positioned onto that hard camp there, though, so he can use a little bit of that flame guard to get some efficiency of farm. Chaos does get the deny, though, with that retaliate bonus damage. They're not able to actually go for the chase. The TPs are coming out already. So you try and turn. Telekinesis. It's the heavy burst, you are. The quick heal with the infest tries to turn towards Chalice, but the Zeep stomp onto the two of them is keeping Chalice safe. MSS and Jawar now backing off with Pi. As X never turns up and make sure that this time Chalice won't go down. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be, yeah, such a. This Lark is going to be this so. Lark, it's, this Lark is going to be such a problem. It's. I mean, do you sort of agree with the approach the forward gaming had? Like, that they. That it just isn't anything that they do about the Slark, or do you feel that they, you would rather sort of sack your Waz farm and balance that out in the, with the potential of shutting down the Slark early on? Like, is this the only way you can play it as forward? You have to let the Slark farm. It's like, what's your decision? It's, it's like if they, if yeah. the decision is like, do we run an aggro? Oh my God, since he got hit by three side blades again, it's like, do you run an aggro trial and you leave your life stealer? That's not really an option. It's maybe you run the life stealer. I was gonna say, can't you, you take your life stealer down here? Can you not get him farming in the same lane so you can not only secure the life stealer farm but also try and do your best to, to limit the slarks? It's not great having the life stealer right versus a slark though, okay. right? Yeah, because sure, you're, 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 you're giving him, yeah, you're giving him the essence shift stack. So yeah. I mean, the bottom lane just went to a complete disaster at minute one, pretty much, right? Like, Snaking gets stunned level one, he gets put down to, like, half HP on the rune. It just becomes incredibly difficult just from level one. So, I think the move to secure your war's farm is probably the best one that they can do there. Yeah. And ultimately, it's just what the, the, the final pick slark was just really good from LGD. Yeah, I think it was an excellent, excellent slark pick for sure. That might just... I thought it's going to be very, very soon out on the army. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe there was the potential that we could see MSS try to go for some rotation onto the mid lane, but I think just because of how shut down CCNC was, it wasn't a possibility for him to like rotate and try to kill a TA. Because you know, with the flame guard, you could have an option, but yeah, he got he got set back a bit too much from those side blades and just from, yeah maybe just dominating the lane. And now he will just find some ancient sex very peacefully. And I think we also will see. Is forward gaming stacking engines? No, they weren't. They were just camping bounty runes. I see this, these 10 minute bounty runes. Arm 8 is already jumping up, in fact. What's the pie away? In fact, he nearly gets the kill there. Let's see if they can turn towards anything else as shards will block him off. Arm still trying to chase down pie. He's got pounce though. again in a second. He should get this. Jumps in. It's another kill for the Slark. Arm That's the Midas done. Out on his way. Level 9. Nearly as well leveled as maybe in that mid lane. The, these two cores are going to be so leveled and so farmed. Yeah. That was a little bit of a late uh, stampede there. It looks like maybe, I don't know, <laughs> Gray he, like, did it way after he stopped chasing, but he's able to get the kill anyway, so it's it's fine. They get some tower pressure here too. They stomp. Hi. We'll be fine. Backup is there. And oh, the Dire Courier. Ame. I think he just found it. He did. He did. And that had what the. The phase boots and an urn of CCNC and, and the urn and a time. That's that's a that's not a bad courier snipe to find at 10 minutes. No, not at all. Now MSS is stuck at level four. I think they ate the other tome already on the Grimstroke, so a tusk level four now for the next like two minutes. Well, he'll hit level five, but he's gonna be level four and five for the next few moments here. That's gonna be a bit painful there. That extra little bit of lockdown and damage. And look at the look at the wards they try to put bottom this century or anything. They didn't find that uh, unorthodox ward that I was uh, talking about there. That little sneaky play there by Xnova. Around that Ancients. It's a very rough start for forward. 5k already. It's crazy how fast yeah, it's accelerating. Minutes in this. And the fact that you know, the, the man leading the charge is our mate on a Slark. This is a hero that, if he's this far ahead at the, at the top of this start of the game, it's, it's, very, it's very hard for him to lose the game, I feel. You have this Slark, you got, you got to mess up. Like this, an army, he's not the kind of man to mess up. No, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a great, great game for it. It's, wait, did I see, right? Did I see CCNC have a Midas recipe in his inventory? No, okay, it was, it was Yawar's Midas yeah. recipe. I was like, wait, what? Oh, he was bringing the, he was him, being yeah. the courier. Yeah, I was like, yeah. wait, what? That would have been a first for me. As Chalice will get the stampede off. CCNC does not get the slight chains, and the LGD, they are here and ready. They have another trap down to on top of the remnant when CCNC Dude. jumps to it. Oh, he pops, pops it early. A little early. But they'll get Pi. Okay. Pi's trapped up. Stolen shards. FY's got the control. And Arme, he also gets a pick as well in the mid lane. Dives the tower. Takes down MSS. Another 
Solo kill for this Slark. Ame is just having the dream opening to this game. Snaking, Bowden well, will be able to power strike away from the Echo Stomp. Ooh, just come back in with the, the Sandstorm. Let's be, care be careful as FY has come in. Mm -hmm. We'll do some damage. Oh, this Slark is, it, it's almost criminal how much he's getting away with. I mean, the three the three cores, even the Centaur is climbing he's up toward yeah, there. Yeah, Chalice, yeah. He, he, what, died three times back to back, but yeah, he's he's back on par now. He's ahead of Snaking's farm. Yeah, and we see FY, he has pretty much the same farm as he's seen C right now, too, on this Rubik. Has the Aether Lens actually finished up at the, bait as, at the base as X Nova? Oh, long TP, will cost him. I'll get a kill. May should be able to get the Seal 1 tower out of it as well, forward with the fourth and down. They have some reveal, hiding in the tree yeah, line, they're they're they found FY in the trees. His second one. Movements from Yuar coming down to join forces with the rest of his team. Very nice. With two kills and a tier one tower. We'll get to close back a little that gap. Still not a lot of it. Still 7k difference. And still maybe an army just on a totally different level to any of the other cores on four gaming side. 13 minutes, level 13 with the Deso. So that one minute per yeah. level, and he's, man, Ooh. he's gonna kill everyone so easy, so easily. Deny it. He's a little scared of going for the deny because he thinks that maybe he's gonna come in and hit it, but I mean, maybe he's pretty far. He probably get away with denying this. Rotations are coming, they're bringing more. Maybe they wanna try to bait, maybe to go for the tower here, and they're bringing the rotations. I think Snaking has the blink dagger, yep. And he's got that epi, and he goes. He's able to jump. There's the control on to maybe. Have they got the burst? They should do, and they have. Nice bait play. See so if they can get more. They turn towards FY. Phantom embraces out from Pi. They'll get a second. Snay with a big reveal. Whoever made that call, that was very nice. Just don't deny it. Yeah, keep let it them alive. Make, let them go for it. Bait them forward. That was, yeah. They may even get more here. You are. He's got a double damage rune. Snaking. Burr strikes out. Onto X Nova. X Nova's gone as well. They get three kills. Forward. The smart moves with Snaking leading the charge. A very significant turnaround there. Ame still able to get, of course, continue to get that it's full free farm there. Meanwhile, Slark. Yeah. Yeah. And they can't actually turn it into a tower is the problem there. So they do get these tills, these uh, these kills, but you look at it their lineup. It doesn't really change much in the gold difference. Yeah. It doesn't change anything in the gold difference because of how much Ame's getting. Mm -hmm. And forwards draft, like you look at it, they have some pretty awful tower damage and objective taking. It's really hard for them to really take towers or even look to go for a Roche at any point in this game. They need to be, they need to have like a big team wipe in order to be able to actually go for those type of pressures or just yeah, have LGD not looking to defend it at all. And build wise from Arme's planet safe, Echo Saber queued up a BKB next. And because the BKB this game, he's invincible. Yeah, and they're just gonna do the Roche. Double Meld comes out. Still easily able to do this one. I like, the, I like the yeah echo just some stats and just gives them that like safe build like you said and yeah. I think just like being able to get like any ups extra hits in it is going to be significant especially versus like these tusks and heroes that you can lock oh, down man, with see. your root like the ember he's not able to there though he's played a bit risky with these uh, remnant CCs he never really has a lot of defensive ones played out before he gets jumped upon yeah only has the ones nearby right there we see the why another reason why the slark is such a good pick it's not only just versus the tusk if you're rooted you obviously can't snowball but of course versus that ember you just get stuck so. Ame was able to find those type of grabs there. And Wa has now got the arm that arms the Marges, so okay. we'll have a little bit of turn up potential for fights. And we saw him do this build uh, the other day too. He did, um, yeah. I think, like Phase, Midas, Armlet, Des uh, Daedalus, or sorry, Radiance. I don't know why I said that's all Radiance. Yeah, it's just, it's just the Radiance afterwards, though. But he gets the Armlet casually in between because, you know, it's, it still provides you some fighting power and it's good versus like the Minus armor that comes out from these, like the Slaughter, uh, the TA in particular. We'll show down bottom, snaking on the high ground, looking for jump potential. Has got epicenter, but the pings are out. Keep themselves Scout hidden. Trying to scout here with this spirit here. Getting the commit, but there's a full pipe on Chalice. Ch he's got stampede, stampede, yeah. yeah. It's not quite clip onto anyone. They're going to actually jump on the back lines. Look straight away for the outer time. They'll get it. X Nova's down, but they've lost Shawa. Maybe immediately deleted oh him. My God. And they'll get CC and C as well. The rest of forward, they've got to try and escape. MSS TPing out. But FY, stolen Burrow Strike. In he goes on top of Snaking. Snaking will turn. Get a three man Burrow Strike off him in return. But X Nova has the control. The sleep stomps out onto Snaking. Snaking's dead. Pilot Eye gone as well. Forward Gaming lose four. After they try and make an aggressive play behind the tier two tower of PSG LGD. And you just saw the speed that they died there. If maybe you can get in position, 
These heroes, Jawar and CCNC, they just melt to the physical DPS. They they both died before. Like the rest of the team was doing great, and then they're like, wait, where's our chorus? <laughs> what, what the hell happened? But yeah, they just died instantly. They actually just died pretty much instantly in that fight. That was crazy Ten. how much damage they can actually unleash this, in such a short amount of time. I mean, Arme, he just continues to make it look like such a simple slot game. Yeah, and now we have, as we saw in the last fight, of course, too, FY does have the Burrow Strike Stone, so one of the best spells that you can steal. And he has an Aether Lens thrown on top, too, so longer range stuns and yeah, 9k forward. It's a rough one. Maybe he's got his blink. Everything is coming together for PSG LGD in this game, too. As forward, they had a tough game one. This one is looking a lot, a lot more rough. Yeah. They're setting themselves kind of up down bottom, but they're not actually defending the tower, so not getting too much farm out of it all when they're doing that to set up bottom. They have four heroes, five heroes kind of positioned, farming the sim similar camps here too. But they really want to try to defend Yawar in particular, because after what we saw before, he can just die instantly. An army. You'll see yes, uh, quite a, a ridiculous lead on what you'd expect from the average of a slark. I mean, if he gets BKB, he can't even die. He can, uh, yeah. Th like if they throw everything on him, he probably won't get burst quick enough, and then he gets the BKB off, and then he just yeah. turns. I mean, this is definitely one of those games where you can make the clay. He's not going to die oh my all God. game. As CCNC instantly jumps upon in the mid lane. But yeah, this... Um, Arme's not going to die this game. Does it's has really Maybe, maybe he's double like the once this game, hasn't he? I believe so, yes. The one at the center that came out. Yes. But yeah, this Slark is... He's going to have a flawless scoreboard. It'll be pretty safe to say. Two yes. minutes faster than the fastest, the BKB. CCNC is just unable to really get anything. He just every he shows his face and just gets jumped immediately. The pounce plus now having these blink daggers too finished up on the centaur as well as the TA. There's so many different ways to catch him now too. And yeah, he just dies in one 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 disable. They're trying to, I mean, look at the way that they've been playing. Forward have been positioned down in that bottom side around their Ancients for the last, like, two minutes or so, just because they're like, all right, well, secure this area and maybe we can try to get some bounty runes out of it. But, I mean, LGD, they're even, like, walking down here. They want to just bring the fight anyway. Oh, Chalice. Initiate here with the two mana who stomped straight away. Stampy popped as well. In goes maybe has the damage to quickly take down Pilot Eye. Turns towards MSS. Snowball's out. They have killed off Chalice. They'll okay. get the lead in straight away with the root follow up onto the TA. Snaking's in with the power strike. Sandstorm down as well. They're bringing him pretty low. So that's 50 seconds on the Aegis. Hole's going to be popped out. Clips onto Snaking. So they can get in for more. It's one for one so far. And it is LGD losing the core for it. FY gets caught out by Burrow Strike. Maybe he's going to jump across the fight. Goes with a kill on the back lines. Turns around towards your wire. Aegis is going to be popped. Buyback comes out from MSS. Here comes Ame. So he can make his way over. Snaking revving up the epicenter. He's got it to go. But Ame jumps upon him. Snaking is dead. They'll turn towards your wire and CCNC. The essence shift, the shift starting to build up as well in the slug. BKB's pop commits onto CCNC. CCNC is trying to throw a remnant out. He's, He's trying to kill off at least another. And they will get X Nova. Ame's been silenced as well. The bug is upon him. He'll take it off. Still got mana to play with. Shadow Dance is out. Caught out by the Ink Squad, but jumping forward. Chasing down CCNC. The Echo Saber slows in, but he has a remnant. He's able to get out there. He has so many stacks built up. They've got to stay away from this slot. They cannot kill him at the moment. But overall, forward gaming not too unhappy with that play. Maybe now, though, as they'll lose one more. MSS did have to buy back as that for that as well. A desperate attempt to try and swing things around in their favor. But at the end of the day, the Slark prevails. Arm 8, 9-0-2. Just as soon as that BKB came out, a Shadow Blade appears on top of it as well. The levels continue to flow in, and this game continues to look borderline impossible for forward. Yeah, absolutely. That was just like, that was like them just kind of like baiting them a little bit there too. Like forward, they get some good kills, right? They get the TA twice, but you could see that LGD, they're like, doesn't matter. Keep the fight going. You just see Slark oh, running across it. the map, and it's that ticking time bomb until he gets there oh, to just no, slaughter them. Oh no, CC and C. Oh no. Oh no. He's dead again. Yeah. Ah, mate. This bottom ward that they have in the lane right here has done so much work, just scouting out the movement from forward the last three, four minutes. Every time they've made, they've been playing down here, and that ward has literally just been catching them every single time that they've been trying to make that play. Level 19, they, they can't fight. Like, right now, forward can't fight. There's too many stacks on this Slark still. He yeah. has 158 agility right now. He's just oh ready boy. to battle. Oh, boy. Easily just claiming that tier two without even really any creeps. Has topped their position. TA was waiting on there, though. But now, the rest of the follow-up. Do you get the shot block off? Maybe. He's in a lot of trouble here. Just a refraction. They've got the dust. They see him. Wars punch up. He gets the blink out. 
He's still going to retreat, but they should have a good shot at chasing this. Jump forward. There's the power strike. They'll get him. They will kill off, maybe. Another kill on the TA. They are doing a good job of taking him down. Very nicely done. They were just, it looked like he was staying there for quite a while. I don't know if maybe he was like melding and looking for a secondary like, a play there, and then they all just TP'd and caught him off guard. But Oh, no, Pi. Oh, oh boy. Even just to miss the BKB. Kill more, just keep hitting, Arme. He has not got a lot to be scared about at this point. Anytime he has the, the BKB and Shadow Dance, he really is invincible. This is the monster of Forward Gaming's nightmares. Mm hmm. They're still just desperately trying to get any type of space on the map here for themselves. Life Series farm is. It's okay, but you compare it to the Slark, and it's. It's 5,000 above. And they're, I mean, they're oh, Ember Spirit. Yeah, poor, poor CC and C is just more. unable to really get much in. Yeah, more, more catch. More essence shift for Arme. Ooh. MSS, ooh. Nice shards, and he's oh, got yeah. the snowball, but... He's still dead. Or is he? The Dukes, the Earth, MSS. He's going to hide in the trees, but FY's found him. Yeah. I'll get him. Tried his best to make some time in mid. Again, CC and C. Oh, oh no. no. He did not see, see, or see that coming. Man, how many deaths is that now? He's had so many. He's had how such a rough game. We won't game. bring it up. We won't bring up the deaths. The lane from the lane to the mid game now. Just unable to really get much out of anything. Yeah. I mean, LGD, they really do seem like they're just. They're really. It does seem like they're focusing CC and snaking a lot in these games that we've been seeing. The bands in particular that we saw, the first three, of course, focus on snaking, but just, yeah, they're. Just go. being relentless, not allowing any breathing room for the poor Ember Spirit to catch back up. The LGD just Cruises. not messing around. The turn up, yeah. they play their game, and it's it's a much better game than forwards able to bring. This is LGD back on form and a, and a team that you could definitely see making quite a run here at the epicenter major. Absolutely. Right, now they have the BKB on the TA as well, so the kill potential is mostly gone now. Unless they can kill him immediately inside of the epicenter, he's going to get that BKB off. They do have the Radiant Stun, and they have a Veil on top too with that blink, so they do have a, quite a high oh, amount so of yeah, burst you're, you're relying on Snake King to carry you here. If they can get a big Epi Snake Burrow... Snake King is... He's, he's, the, he's the potential for them to make the big plays. As long as they don't make the jump on Chalice. That is the one target they do not want to go for. He has 2,500 HP. If they can try to catch the TA or that Slark, the Slark probably still a bit hard, but they can... Maybe kill that TA if they can get the chain stun off on him before that BKB comes out, if Snaking can get that initiation, but just don't jump the Centaur. I'll get a couple of bounties. I'll get a couple of bounties. We'll be able to get out and get the two up top. Mm -hmm. Positioning themselves here on the high ground too. Maybe trying to see if they can get anything when uh, LGD backs up to maybe check that Roche. It should be spawning relatively soon forward. He's going to be aware of that too. He's traps though. Pi's starting to set up the trap. Senators to get rid of them, but now that just shows LGD where forward is positioned as the rush spawns. So LGD is aware of it, so is forward. Still camping up on this high ground, but the circle is drawn. X Nova just drew a circle on top of where forward is standing on the high ground. They are very well aware of this. Straight back to base. And the whole map, really, the for, for PSG LGD to do whatever they want at the moment. Yep. They got all that farm in those moments that, I mean, Forge just spent well, better, over a full minute and a half or so just going up onto that high ground. LGD is able to get like 4k gold swing off of it, and now they're setting up for that Roche and Arcane Rune as well, so it's going to die even easier, and TA is going to stay full HP because you just keep spamming the Refraction and Meld to bring it down. Age and Cheese. Yeah, with a triple Meld oh, stats. Man. Look at that. That's minus a, a hell of a lot of armor. Ooh, beautiful. For that Arcane. Forward, are heading over. It's gonna, it's gonna be dead already it's, before they yeah, can do it. There's no way. And Ame just time. walks up. He does not care. No fear whatsoever there's for the slug. There's nothing slark. that scares him. Pouncing in, Stampede's there. He'll start to take some of the essence shifts away from Pilot Eye. Pilot Eye's gone. Snaking will get the jump on the side on top of Fy. They'll kill the Rubik. The stomps out as well as the ult. Moving over the BKB, maybe find Snaking. You are an MSS having to be hot on the retreat, but the chase is on towards the side Chalice. And Arme continue to chase CCNC. They've got him. CCNC dead once more. More blood and glory for Arme Slark. Oh, MSS is spotted too. The spirit on top of him, the trap too. And the blink. And MSS will try to make them work for it a bit here, but inevitably. 
will die. 21k lead, 26 to 16 at just 27 minutes in. Ame just, he knows that he's unkillable. Just runs up on the high ground. It causes disarray completely on forward. They don't know any idea who they want to go for anymore. And yeah, they end up jumping the Rubik. They kill FY, but yeah, you're killing a, you know the four position and losing pretty much everything for it. And now he has a full live Scott. He finished up on top. It was unkillable for, and now he can actually look to go for Yawar. He can focus oh. fire Yawar in these tar in these situations now uh -oh. too. The trap slow does not actually hit him, but he's got the ice Scotty. So those that slow through the rage. I mean, I think you, can, you keep going. Oh. Nah, it's the radiance miss. You don't want to pop a BKB just because of radiance. Like I mean, yeah, I think you, 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 I'm at this point because Solo died the high ground. Right, Owen. Yeah. That's the Owen Slark plays, by the way. He's jumping onto the high ground. I bet Arme wanted to. Someone <laughs> on his team was like, don't do it. Yeah, 12, 0, 5. I guess he, want, he wants to keep the scoreboard clean. Yeah. He, want, he wants to make sure he doesn't die at all this game. So you're even admitting that he may have died when he got, went up there now. <laughs> yeah, but he would have got <laughs> some essence shift. He may have, you know, he would have killed someone. Here well, we he's go. gonna, he might be able to get someone this here is, anyway. This is a bit of an easier kill. Yeah. Nice and far away from the base. Snaking. Bit of the detection, the stomp coming out. X Nova. Nova's got detection right. Maybe he has him. X Nova not having detection. X Nova. That's that is uh -oh. rare. That is very rare. He wanted some bracers this game. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, the, the trap. trap's still on top of him. Oh, can they get to it? No, he's, he's, no, he's out. fine. He's away. But X Nova. That's fair. I mean, that is extremely rare to see him yeah. not carrying any type of reveal. <laughs> there he is. He bought it now. He bought a gem. Bought a gem. <laughs> he's like, Sorry. not again. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Snaking. Spotted. Oh, Chalice. Chalice. He just went in for it. Looking for Pi. Just he runs him over with a stampede. Oh. Gets on top of MSS. Easy double kill for Chalice. Meanwhile, Arme has found his favorite fiery friend, but CCNC will get out this time. Chalice just walked up and killed both those heroes by himself because he has a Reaver. So that all that extra bonus strength, yeah, more than enough damage for himself. Picked themselves up two Yules, but... You know, they've got a little bit more things to save themselves and buy themselves times versus that uh, versus that pounce, but how are they killing heroes? They can kill the support. We've seen them kill the Rubik, but how the hell are they going to kill any of these cores on LGD? And then we see that gem, and up. Oh, Chalice has a full heart, so let's do some damage to the tower. Attack the tower. Push to the high ground. This is the, this is the GG push that LGD yeah. is looking for now here. They've got the Aegis to Cheese. They've got everything. Jump forward. Don't actually get it. You can see. We'll be okay for the time being, but the racks are dropping. And there's nothing they can do. They have the full five mana alive, but... They're setting up with the infest on the back lines. You see snaking wrapping around down below. He's trying to find an opportunity here. He's spotted, though. Cannot get the jump that he'd hoped for. He has to back all the way up. That spirit zones him out. Chalice is just still positioned there on the high ground with no fear whatsoever. Hitch says CCNC once, does about half his health, oh, and now they CCNC. get the sleep on CCNC. He has the Yules. That's the, the well. Chalice stomp. As Emma says, by some time, it doesn't matter. Maybe in. Cuts him down. Ame commits with the BKB. Snaking and Pilot are getting dove. Maybe kills a second, taking down MSS. Ame. Also a little bit low, but he'll be able to back off and rely on the Shadow Dance. FY does get taken out by Snaking and Yuwa. They'll find the Rubik on the side. Chalice. <laughs> He's just in, the in base. there. Four heroes trying to take him down. They're slowly yeah, but he has the cheese. He has the stampede. Turns the sleep follow-up as well. Snaking comes in with an epicenter. But it doesn't do anything at all whatsoever. Chalice was set up by yours, I believe, at the same time. Got He's now back been up, silenced. but he's getting chunked down. The, the life sealer is starting to hurt. They will get him. They're, maybe, maybe. They've also found him as well. They had detection down. They see him on the low ground. He's got the ages, but he's without two teammates. Is Ame going to come help him? See if they can kill him a second time. He's got the BKB. It will go for the BKB TP out. They and punched too early. Oh, he should have saved it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, should should have MSS saved knows MSS. as well, too, immediately, right after yep. he throws it. That would have been... Pretty huge. That could have been a very big kill there for if sure. They there, get, maybe. But they Ame, don't. Ame was not even looking to help him. By the way, Ame just went and claimed bounty runes while his TA was dying over there. He's like, yeah, you, you'll figure it out. Maybe don't worry about it. Maybe thinking that he might actually just die there, but yeah, gets out because of that that early punch coming out from MSS. Jesus, Chalice. You know, Chalice popped Retaliate and had plus 500 damage there too. He turned and was starting 500? Yeah, 500, because he has the, the talent, oh, so. No. Yeah. Oh, you are. TP out, my friend. Are we going to see a Basher queued up immediately by Ame? 
after that, right? He's got money. Okay, he's going for the MKP. The yeah, against the Radiance, yeah, against yeah. The radiance makes sense. So. I thought maybe we'd see it. Just because those situations, it's like, you don't have detection, buy the gem after that. Don't have the disable, buy the basher, just so you can get rid of that rage TP. Well, they're holding on. Well, that's 32 minutes. You're yep. down 27,000 gold. Costed you three you've buybacks. Only, you've only lost the melee racks. You know, it's just, they're holding on. It's still pretty impossible. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. But maybe. They have to hope for... And they just really have to hope for some type of crazy overextensive plays from LGD at this point because they're just they're just way too strong. Even then, LGDs can maybe even just dive them into tier fours when they have their entire squad up into the base because we saw how much Chalice can actually tank. That was Chalice eating all five heroes, hitting him with tag team on, and he was still surviving for quite a long time. Once again, forward gaming just. Keeping on the high ground, any time that they're aware that PSG LGD are trying to sweep the map, try and find a pick up with these smokes. Noir pretty much has the full AC finished up too, so he is starting to get quite a bit stronger here. Has the evasion talent too, but that, you know, we see that the MKB is already picked up, of course, for the Slark as well as that TA. Shrine's taken out by both of the cores of LGD, and they're just keeping, yeah, keep forward in their base, don't let them get any farming. Forward, they're trying to sneak out here, they've got the smoke. Chalice, really something here. Chalice just goes in. He goes straight into the midst of the wall, he has got a stampede, but they're using him up, the rest of the team now coming over to help Chalice out. The Stomp, he has three of them here, Exnova lays down the ult as well, the rest of LGD moving across, clips onto the two of them, Chalice Force still out. alive. Slides out to the side, they'll jump in with the remnant. CCG trying to kill him, but he's straight into a who stop. And look who's here, ready and waiting. Arme jumps in onto CCC. 3 4 dead, they're falling like flies on forward gaming. And they don't even kill him. And it's GG, they've had enough. They'll tap out of this one as 2 0 PSG LGD take the series. And there are no questions asked today as who is the better team? PSG LGD looking.